I was always a very small child growing up, so Little Miss Tiny was definitely a personal favourite. This is the fifth book in the Little Miss series, and it starts off with an introduction to Little Miss Tiny, wherein we learn that she lives inside a mouse hole. And clearly, she is very unhappy because she lives all alone, because she's so tiny, nobody can see her, they don't know she's there. But one day, she ventures out and gets herself into a bit of trouble. Because there's a big cat, a very big scary cat. And then she realises she's not alone. She meets Mr Strong. And Mr Strong introduces her to lots of his friends. Including a personal favourite, Mr Greedy. And uh, Mr Funny and a couple of others as well. And because Mr. Strong was kind and caring and thoughtful, he was able to help Little Miss Tiny. And even more than that, I'm about to reveal the ending of the book. At the end of the book, Little Miss Tiny meets somebody just like herself, Mr. Small. And Mr. Small doesn't look very small there at all, does he? Um, I thought it's absolutely adorable. I love the design of Little Miss Tiny. She's one of my favourite characters in terms of the design of her. Um, very, very short arms, apparently. And, as I said, with me being uh, a very small child, this was uh, one of my favourite characters. I think it's a very sweet story about showing that sometimes some people may feel small or they may be small, and lending them a helping hand and helping them to find friends and certainly to find other people who can relate to them is a really important thing to do and can be really helpful. It's not the most strong moral or message sometimes mr men books have got a really really important message sometimes it's just displaying acts of kindness and that's what we have with little miss tiny definitely for me it'll be a lifelong favorite